nerds. This lesson, intercepts from an equation. All right, x-intercepts and y-intercepts continued, basically. Here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis. Let's draw an arbitrary line. There's one. So, x-intercept, where this blue line crosses our x-axis, would be at this point right here. I don't even have numbers because it doesn't matter. It's just the concept you need to learn about. We're at some x value. What's our y value going to be if we crossed here, 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 so on, so forth? What's the y value for all those points? Zero. From our origin, we've only gone right. We haven't gone up or down, so it's going to be zero. I know I've talked about that in some previous videos. Three. We don't go up or down any, so it's zero. Three, zero. So no matter where I am on this line, my y value is always going to be zero. Anywhere on here is our y axis. If the line crosses it, that's our y intercept. For this blue line, it crosses right there. So, what's our x value? From the origin, do we go left or right at all? Nope, we just went straight down. So, we did not move left or right. So we have a zero value for our x uh, coordinate and our y value. All right, so this week in con, you're going to be expected to find the x-intercepts and y-intercepts when given an equation that looks like this. So what do you do? No, seriously, what do you do? Take a look at my hands. All right, so what are we going to do to solve this? We need to find an x-intercept and a y-intercept. We have this linear equation that's not in any of our regular forms, but that really doesn't matter. What did we just talk about two minutes ago at nauseum? The fact that if we're going to find an x-intercept, that the y-value is going to be zero, and if we're trying to find the y-intercept, that the x-value is zero. Why do we care about that? Well, we care about that because we're going to plug in to solve for the other part. What do I mean by that? Let's try to find the x-intercept uh, real quick. What do we know is true about every x-intercept ever? That the y-value is going to be what? If we're on the x-axis, have we moved up or down at all? We have not. So we know that the y-value is going to be zero. So to solve for this ordered pair, we're going to plug in 0 for y and solve for x, and that will tell us our x-coordinate for this ordered pair, meaning this is where x-intercept is. So let's do that. We have 5x minus 9 equals 8 times what y is, which is 0 in this case, minus 3. So what do we do? So we don't have to do anything to this left side yet, so let's write that down. 5x minus 9 equals, what's 8 times 0? Zero? 0, nothing, so it disappears. So we're left with just negative 3 on the side. All right, so let's get like terms together. This negative 9, let's move it over to this side using inverse operations. Let's add 9. What we do to one side, we have to do the other to keep it balanced. Add zeros out, so we have 5x equals 6. All right, we're right out of room, but that doesn't matter. I'll write small. What do we do here to get x by itself? We have 5x is equaling 6. We care about what the 1x equals. So 5 times x, what's the opposite of multiplying by 5? Dividing by 5. So let's divide both sides by that 5. We have x by itself equals 6 over 5. That is our x-intercept. 6 fifths, 0. Alright, to find the y-intercept, we do the same concept, but we just replace a different variable with zero. The y-intercept, what is the x value for every y-intercept ever? That's zero. So we can plug in a zero right here. Since we know that we haven't moved left or right from the origin, we've just gone up or down to be on the y-axis, that means we can plug in a zero, do the steps, 
And whatever you come up with y equals, that is the, uh, the other part of the coordinate. All right, the ordered pair. So let's do that. Let's plug in zero for x and solve for y. So five times zero minus nine equals eight y minus three. All right, five times zero is nothing. We have negative nine equals eight y minus three. Negative nine equals eight y minus three. All right, let's combine like terms. Let's move this negative three over here. Opposite subtracting three, add three. Zero's out. Then we have negative six equals eight y. All right, last step. Inverse operation, eight times y. Divide both sides by eight. We have y equals negative six over eight which I'm gonna reduce, what can go into both six and eight. Two is a factor of both six and eight, so we can divide that out. We have negative six divided by two is three, eight divided by two is four. So that would be the ordered pair. Zero is our x coordinate, negative three over four would be our y coordinate. This method I just showed you works regardless of whatever form that your linear equation's in, or not even a form if it's in what was up there before. Uh, so just plug in zero for y if you want to find the x-intercept, and plug in zero for x if you want to find the y-intercept. I don't know what these hands mean, but 